Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Always Inspired. Today I'm here with one of my besties. Her name is Donna, and together we're gonna show you guys how to use sea moss effectively in oatmeal and juice smoothies. Let's get started. We're gonna use half a cup of oatmeal, a cup of milk of your choice. This is um, almond milk, unsweetened. Then you're going to add, this is cinnamon, um, nutmeg, and um, clove. But it's just about one, a quarter teaspoon each that is in here. Throw it all in there. Then you have honey and essence, vanilla essence. This is flaxseed and chia seeds. It's half a teaspoon each. You're gonna use, you're gonna use one teaspoon of the sea moss. It's already in the gel, so it's a little thick when you cutting it in, but just average just average put it in there stir make sure you stir it in and combine everything and then you're gonna put in the microwave for three to five minutes okay so the oats is ready it took about five minutes to cook because it's still cut oats you can add whatever fruit you want to add on it once it's finished i'm gonna add some black plums uh raspberry and pineapple but you can add whatever fruit you want to add on top of it to make it look pretty and that's what it looks like hello everyone I am Donna. Samantha introduced me earlier in her video. Um, today, she already showed you how to incorporate seaweed into oatmeal. I'm going to show you how to incorporate seaweed into something like a smoothie. Really, my version is more like a juice, but if you'd like it to be more of a smoothie texture, you can add more fruit to it or more vegetables. It's up to you. So before I get into the recipe, um, you know seaweed has been all the craze these days and rightfully so because seaweed is just one of those things that is like a superfood you get actually 92 of the 102 minerals and vitamins needed for your body out of seaweed um very good for inflammation helps with weight loss um provides prebiotics so there's a host of benefits from incorpor incorporating seaweed into you know your everyday recipes things like the oatmeal and your juice and whatever else you want to add so these are the ingredients i'm going to be using in my juice today here we have some coconut aloe vera water if you're not familiar with that i'd suggest you get familiar with coconut aloe vera water because it's just so good besides being refreshing Coconut water is one of those things that helps with replacing electrolytes. It's also anti-inflammatory with the aloe in there. So just one of those things you can include, especially if you don't like water, you can actually have this to get all the liquid you need for the day. Um, this here we have some 100% apple juice. And while the juice may not be the ideal thing that you may want to use some people prefer to use the whole apple but it just helps to take away some of the work and you can dilute it by adding the coconut water it dilutes those fruit sugars a bit here we have some cinnamon and some allspice and i like to add this because it just gives the juice a nice taste it actually tastes like an apple pie at the end so this is just a quarter teaspoon of 
cinnamon and one eight teaspoon of the allspice here I have some frozen bananas just one and a half because we already have the apple juice here we don't want it to be too sweet here we have another fresh ginger this is actually four cups of green so this is a combination of organic spinach and organic baby kale it's a little melted but it was frozen and this is the Irish moss gel and we're just going to add about a teaspoon of this to the juice that helps with thickening and then also you get all those great benefits from the seaweed in there so I'm just gonna pour the coconut aloe vera water in and we have two cups of that two cups of a hundred percent apple juice our cinnamon and allspice we're gonna add our teaspoon of and you know you just average it teaspoon of the sea moss our four cups of greens spinach and kale and you always want to use the organic versions when you add in greens to your juices just so you don't get those pesticides in there our knob of ginger and we have actually one and a half of the frozen banana and freezing your bananas first just adds you know to the consistency of your drink helps it to come out a little thicker and we're going to just blend all of that up juice has finished blending and it looks lovely okay we're just gonna pour it into some glasses and there you have two glasses of green goodness of course, you don't have to drink a whole full 20 ounce glass of this stuff at one time. You can do an 8 ounce glass and you will still get the benefit of everything. But I would advise not to drink a whole 20 ounce at a time because you're, you are going to get a lot of fruit sugars in there which can still spike your blood sugar. So you want to take your time with this. 8 ounces is good. And we're just going to taste and see how it is. Mm, marvelous. Just So guys, that was the end of our video with the oatmeal and the juice smoothie. This simply tastes amazing. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, let us know and we got you. Remember to like and subscribe. Cheers.